Competition was fierce at the Hartford Regionals last weekend. Here's how it shifted the meta. In our Portland analysis, we noticed that weather was doing very well. And it seems like everyone else noticed too, as 30% of Day 2 teams were weather teams. All four weather conditions were seen in the top 20 teams, and the winner of the Weather Wars this time around was Rain, with Ryan Haig piloting his team all the way to second place. It seems that most Rain teams these days are running at Zumro. Let's check back with Palafin. Yep, it's still dead. It was only seen on three of the Day 2 teams, and none made it to top cut. We noticed that all the top teams had ways to counter it. Another Pokemon that didn't do very well at this regional was Baxcalibur, which is surprising given its high usage rate at Portland. At Hartford, only 4 out of the 60 Day 2 teams used Baxcalibur. It was used to counter Palafin Balance, and with that archetype's usage rates at an all-time low, Baxcalibur is losing its place in the meta. One Pokemon who raked in the big bucks was the Money Man Goldengo. It was on 16% of Day 2 teams, and it was on 3 of the 8 top cut teams. Why did Goldengo do so well? It's a strong special attacker that is immune to Spore and obliterates Fluttermane if it can land a hit. Make sure to pair it with a redirector or speed control so it can take Fluttermane down. Tinglu didn't do well at Portland, but at Hartford it had a huge comeback. It had over 20% usage on both Day 1 and Day 2, appearing on 13 of the 60 Day 2 teams. Tinglu took a big W at Hartford, and Joaquin Salerno brought it next to Orthworm to win his second major tournament in the row. Let's check in on another treasure of ruin. Wo Qian had low usage as usual, but this time, Kyle Livinghouse piloted Wo Qian to a top 8 finish. He proved that the Scribe Slug has the potential to succeed. If you're a Wo Qian fan, check out his team and learn from his success. The special attacker kings of the meta stayed the same. Fluttermane, Iron Bundle, and Chi Yu maintained their top 3 Day 2 usage rates. Their loyal defender Amoongus followed close behind with 35% usage. Additionally, several Pokemon proved that they are meta staples by maintaining around a 20% usage rate across multiple regionals. Arcanine, Chien Pao, Gyarados, and Great Tusk are here to stay. If you are liking this video, make sure to subscribe as it helps out the channel. We've got a lot of cool videos coming in the near future that you don't want to miss out on. Now let's get back to it. At Fort Wayne, Dondozo didn't do very well. At Portland, it had a comeback going all the way to second place. Now at Hartford, its success rate fell back down, not even making it onto a single top cut team. This has led us to an interesting conclusion. Dondozo is inconsistent. It will always be present in a given meta, but whether or not it will win games depends a lot on its randomly selected matchups. With the Treasures of Ruin being introduced in Regulation Z, Armourouge and DD teams fell off. However, they are making a small comeback as 5 Day 2 teams ran the pair. It still hasn't top cut, but you should be on the lookout for more of these teams in the future. One of the most prominent Pokemon in Day 2 was Iron Hands. Over a quarter of Day 2 teams ran it, and it was on over half of the top cut teams. There were many different builds of Iron Hands. Some were bulky set up with Sword Stance but others were more offensive with coverage moves like Heavy Slam to threaten Fluttermane. The Qian Pao Dragonite duo rose in popularity. Dragonite appeared on 21 of the 60 Day 2 teams, and Qian Pao appeared on 19. Make sure you're prepared for them. And the winner of it all was Tang Shilong with a relatively bulky aggro team. He ran the dastardly Qian Pao and Choice Band Dragonite duo for fast physical damage. Fluttermane covered special attacks and was supported by speed control from Iron Bundle. King Gambit appeared in the finals of its fourth American regional in a row as a bulkier attacker that can still hit first with Sucker Punch, and Arcanine rounded it all out with Intimidate and Will-O-Wisp to stop physical attackers in their tracks. It's a well-rounded team that rewards solid fundamentals, and Shilong piloted it with impressive skill. We hope you found our Hartford meta-analysis helpful. This has been Abby and Josh with Sly and Pine VGC. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful year.